education, technology, and innovation that drives everything. With our young EB, we see how connected they are with um, the internet, with their tablet, with their phones, they, they, are, they are content creators. How do we move towards monetizing their content? What regulations, what laws do we bring into effect? The world is moving towards the real use of artificial intelligence. And I don't think if we actually comprehend how much the world is going to change over the next few years. And it sounds like very many prophets of doom are swing about AI. But think about how much you can do by the basic gen AI available today. But you want to start considering the fact that we need data scientists, um, you know, AI developers, prompt engineers, and this human capital has to be created. We cannot ignore the importance of uh, uh, the normative investment that needs to be made. And that is why we are working with the African Union. The African Union has definitely uh, been able to uh, formulate a number of policies, including the digital uh, strategy. Uh, but it is important for us to also support the African Union when it comes to implementation. So what are the practical ways that the private sector can come in? Because we, we see a lot of opportunities in that uh, area. It is about, you know, low interest loans. It's about investment in businesses. Uh, the same thing can be said in our experiences uh, where we were also working with a commercial bank for that matter, uh, in, in harvesting data, in helping communities, especially women like SMEs, in developing bankable proposals, which then informed consideration for loans from these commercial banks. We are working with fund managers to establish uh, and through our Timbuktu Foundation in Kigali so that we can attract investors.